I'm sexy and I know it. Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Ozzatrolls here, and welcome to part two of my optical flares tutorial. So, in today's tutorial, will be uh, sec. In today's tutorial, we'll be discussing. Not really. Well, we'll be discussing. Uh, well, I will be telling you really. Um, uh, how to do movements with uh. Like how to do clocked movements with optical flares, and you get the you get the drift. So what we're gonna do is we actually wanna make a new composition. Control N. Call this optical. Doesn't really matter what you call it. And I'm gonna make mine 10 seconds. So now you can use the movement of optical flares for basically anything. You could use it for. Uh, you could use it for anything. You could use it for example uh, in intro you could use it for a mm, you could use it for intros you could use it for anything really you, you just gotta use your imagination so that yeah, so let's get started guys so what you want to do is you want to actually make a new solid doesn't matter what color because we're using a uh, uh, the video color pilot co-pilot's optical flare if we're using after effects then we would have to worry about the color but red will be fine so I'm just gonna call it red solid one and I don't really give a crap then go into effect go video code violet optical flares that will start installing and once it finishes like that you wanna come up not come up go up to options here and then I've already made one preset that I'm gonna use in stuff version one and I'm just going to use this to show you, but just before I finish, I'm going to put a streak through it. Because I actually do like streaks. I normally put two streaks. It gives it more effect, I think. Not You could easily put it up to 200, but I think just the separate two streaks make it better, I think. Click OK. And then when we come down here, and we actually got our nice little... Uh, effect here. So now let's get started into the movements. So to move we need to find, we've got, I'll just quickly show you what a flare here, a lens flare looks like from from the uh, normal package from After Effects. Here it has flare center, flare brightness. Now if you wanted to move you would click flare brightness, flare center and you would want to move, you want to click the arrow key. So that's going to be what, where it's going to be at the first thing and then say in that second I wanted to move over here now when it comes back you can see the movement that happens so it's the exact same thing really with the optical flare but instead of saying flare center it says position x y so you're going to click on position x y and so that's what it's going to look like from there to there now if we wanted to move to there in about a second you can do that if you want jump back here but the best way if you really want to do straight lines is um, to use these just here so now when I just drag across it might take a little while longer it just it, it allows you to do it in better formations and so you just drag it along or you can just click here and then click the and I'll show you another one and then we're gonna do that this time we're gonna use Uh, sorry, I clicked on the wrong one, and then we're going to bring it up to there, in the next second, and so on, and that gives you an effect. So now if we were to play that through, it's not going to be in real time, obviously, at this moment in time. So, we'll just wait for that to load a little bit. Jump into our preview here. What we can do is we can put a skip up to 4, and then we can put our frame rate to 99. And now when we play it, we don't get the chopping. We get a better view. So you, you, you get the point, guys. We don't really need to wait for this to load. Now these optical flares do take, make, they do make, how to explain, they do require a longer rendering time if you want them in your work. But I'd say they are worth it. So, really, so that's 
really today's tutorial was going to be talking about how to position it and to position it timing and so on. So that's Optical Flares Tutorial Part 2. Make sure you guys subscribe. See ya. It's Mr. Oz Tutorials here signing off. See you guys. Hope you had fun what listening, watching, whatever you did. And make sure you subscribe for more After Effects Tutorials, Dreamweaver Tutorials and so on. So that's it guys. Now, uh, that's it. So make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment and favorite. And it's really helpful guys. Make sure you do. So that's it guys. Tell your friends about me and see ya. So see ya for today's episode and bye.